Welcome back to Science Wednesday. Um, so we know a little bit about Corona, what it is, uh, what we have to uh, do when we get sick. آنچه که ما تا حالا می دانیم این است که تن از بیمار شدن انسان ها جلو گیری می کند اون زیدی ویروسی برای افراد است که در حال حاضر مریض هستند شاخه که پروتینی و هم آنتیبادی ها از پروتین ساخته می شوند این پروتین ها می تواند با تزریق دی این ای که پروتین را در درون سلول های باکتریایی مخمیر و یا پستانداران کود می نماید در آزمایشگاه ساخته می شوند Sipas, solul ha, protein, tablet, mm-hmm. But actually, we don't really want to get sick, no? No, we don't. So, the, the most important thing is actually to prevent getting sick. So, how do we do this? So, the first and most important thing is to wash our hands. So, why don't we go and see a little bit of why this is actually important and why this works? This is a coronavirus. The coronavirus has a cover of fats. This is a soap molecule. A soap molecule exists out of two parts. The tail that binds with fats. And the head that binds with water. The that binds with water. The heads of the soap will bind to the water that we use when we are washing our hands. The water pulls the soap and the cover of the virus breaks. The inside of the virus dissolves and washes away with the water. Well, another very important measure is the social distancing. The social distancing. Exactly. But what? Well, um, as we said before, the, the virus is transmitted through droplets. Mm-hmm. So if I sneeze, the droplets from my sneeze will go a certain distance, but they will not stay in the air forever. They will go, go down to the ground. So if you keep d- enough distance, my sneeze will not reach you. ویروس از طریق قطرات پخش می شود اگر کسی عدس یا صرفه کند این قطرات کمی در هوا شناور می شود و سیپ از پایین می روند اگر فاصله کافی از سایر افراد داشته باشید قطرات به شما نمی رسد And also as we saw before uh, it maybe you remember the contagious rate a little bit Okay so the contagious rate means how many people on average someone who's sick will infect میزان ساری بودن میزان افرادی است که شخص بیمار به آن مبتلا شخص بیمار آن را مبتلا می کند. Um, and it depends among other things on the contact rate. So the, the amount of contact you have with other people. So if you have less contact with other people, you also be less likely to spread the disease because you don't see that many people. میزان ساری بودن بستگی به میزان تماس دارد. اگر با افرادی کمتر ملاقات کنید احتمال ابتلا به ویروس کمتر است. Why don't we now see maybe some simulations to better understand how this all actually works? I think that's a great idea. باید به برخی شبه سازی ها بپردازیم تا بفهمیم چگونه این کار انجام می شود. The blue dots are healthy people. The orange dots are sick people and the purple dots are people that recovered and are now immune. In these simplified simulations no one dies. نقاط آبی افراد سالم هستند، نقاط نارنجی افراد بیمار، نقاط بنفش افراد هستند که بهبود یافته و اکنون مسئول هستند یا معافیت ایجاد کرده است. در این شبه سازی های ساده هیچ کس نمی میرد. Now let's see how a disease spreads in a population where everybody is doing business as usual. اکنون بیایید ببینیم چگونه این بیماری در جمعیت گسترش می آبد در صورتی که افراد به طور معمولی در حرکت باشد یا حرکت کنند. You can see that the spread starts slow, 
then goes up very quickly and then goes down again when there's more and more people that are recovered and immune. می بینید که گسترش آهسته شروع می شود سپس سریع افزایش می یابد و سپس افراد پایین رفتن و سپس تعداد افراد پایین می رود و تعداد بیشتری از مردم از این سیستم مسئول می شود یا معافیت به دست می آورد. Now let's look at a simulation where they tried to isolate the sick people from the healthy people. It is very difficult to completely isolate the sick from the healthy. When there's even a small gap in the isolation, the disease will spread very quickly in the rest of the population. اکنون بیایید به یک شب سازی بپردازیم که در آن سعی کردن افراد بیمار را از افراد سالم جدا کنند. جدا سازی کامل بیمار از افراد سالم بسیار دشوار است. هنگامی که حتی یک فاصله کوچک در جدا سازی وجود داشته باشد، این بیماری خیلی سریع در بقیه جمعیت گسترش می‌یابد. Now let's look at the simulation where only a quarter of the population moves. اکنون بیایید به وضعیت نگاه کنیم که فقط یک چهارم جمعیت حرکت میکنه. You can clearly see that the spread of the disease goes much slower than before. This is what we try to do with social distancing. به وضوح میبینید که شیوع بیماری بسیار آهسته یا کند تر از گذشته است. این همان کاری است که ما می توانیم با دوری از اجتماع انجام دهیم. Now let's have a look at the situation where only one eighth of the population moves. You can see that the spread of the virus has slowed down a lot and that the curve is much flatter than before. اکنون اجازه دهید نگاهی به وضعیت بیاندازیم که فقط یک هشتم جمعیت در آن حرکت می کند. می بینید که گسترش ویروس بسیار آهسته یا کند شده است و منحنی بسیار مسطحه. So we have seen that um, to get out of this pandemic, mm -hmm. people are working on medicines, people are also working on vaccines mm -hmm. to make us immune to the disease. But you, don't, you can also get immune not through a vaccine, but by getting the disease. Yeah. Uh, and a word that I heard a lot lately is herd immunity. But what is this exactly? مسئولیت جمعی یا معافیت جمعی چیست؟ So herd immunity is a concept that uh, is related to the immunity of a whole group of people. Mm -hmm. So in, in this group of people, there is a big amount of them that are immune, that is supposed to be around us 70%. Then their immunity covers the other people as well. So by this 70% of the people being immune, they are preventing an outbreak of the disease among the other 30%. Mm, okay. I think it's a little bit of a complicated concept to see. So why don't we have a look at some simulations? I think that would be helpful. Let's. مسئولیت جمعی یا معافیت جمعی مربوط به معافیت کلیه افراد یا افراد زیاد است. اگر در این گروه تعداد زیادی از افراد مسئول یا معافیت پیدا کند معافیت آنها از افرادی که مسئول نیست یا معافیت ندارد همچنان محافظت میکنند. بیایید یک شب سازی را ببینید. In this simulation the red figures are sick, the white figures are healthy and the grey figures are immune. We can see that in the beginning the amount of sick people goes up very quickly, but that after a while it stays stable because there are so many people immune to the disease that they kind of protect the people that are still sensitive to the disease. This is because if a sick person is surrounded by people who are immune to the disease, it cannot spread the disease anymore. In this simulation, there are four patients who are healthy, and four patients who are healthy, and four patients who are healthy again. در آغاز میزان بیماران به سرعت افزایش می یابد بعد از مدتی میزان افراد بیمار تثبیت می شود بسیار از افراد در برابر این بیماری معافیت به دست می آورد و از افرادی که هنوز هم نسبت به این بیماری حساس هستند ما محافظت می کنند دلیل این امر در این است که اگر یک بیمار در معاصره افرادی باشد که از این بیماری مسئول یا معافیت به دست آورده یا خوب شده دیگر نمیتواند این بیماری را گسترش دهد 
So let's have a look at what we learned today. خب امروز چه چی چیزی آموختیم؟ اقدامات برای جلوگیری از شروع ویروس کرونا، شستن دست، صابون پوشش ویروس را از بین برده و از این طریق ویروس را غیر فعال میکنه. فاصله اجتماعی تماس کمتر با سطح باعث آهسته تر شدن یا کنتر شدن بیماری و منحنی مسطح و منحنی مسطح تر خواهد شد. So, that was it for today. And not just for today. Yeah, exactly. And in general. This was so, the last class of this um, cycle. cycle. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you learned a lot. And we hope to see you at some point. In the future. Thanks for joining us. And bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. In the last class of this cycle, I hope you enjoyed it.